One of the most common household problems, and one which we get asked about more frequently than anything else, is how to remove a stain from something. Well, the reason it's such a problem is because most of the stains around the house result from a spill or an accident of some sort, and most stains tend to set very quickly. So, if you don't happen to have the correct stain remover on hand, you're out of luck. You often end up having to throw the stained item out. Unless, of course, you know how to use one of the dozens of everyday products you already have in your home to remove that stain before it gets a chance to set. One of my favorite emergency stain removers is this. You probably already have some in your garage. Waterless hand cleaner. Its main purpose is to clean grease off your hands. Mechanics use it all the time. But its cleaning properties go far beyond that, believe me. In fact, I believe it's the most versatile stain remover you could possibly have in your home. So if you don't happen to own any, go out and get it. You can usually find it in your hardware store. And actually, I've also found that many supermarkets are now carrying it now, too. Anyway, let me show you just how amazing this stuff is. What I'm going to do first is create what I call the stain from hell on this nice white shirt here. First, let's put in some chocolate sauce into this bowl. The stain that most mothers would like to avoid, chocolate sauce. And then we'll add something that causes one of the biggest problems in the house, really difficult to remove, the dreaded spaghetti sauce stain. And if anybody's got spaghetti sauce on their favorite top in the past, you'll know what I mean. Now, to add insult to injury, we'll even throw in some mustard. The stain, which nine times out of 10 results in either throwing the garment out or consigning it to a life as a cleaning cloth. Now, let's mix it all together. Then, we'll put some on this nice white shirt here, like so. Oh, yuck, there you go. Oh my gosh, I'll never get that out. Well, don't panic. Just wipe up the excess with a paper towel first, like so. And then, take a blob of waterless hand cleaner in your hand, like this, and put it on the area, like so. And then you simply rub it in with your hand, like I'm doing here. Now, you can also use a toothbrush if you prefer. Sometimes it gets down into the fibers easier. Now, I've used this stuff to remove stains like coffee, tea, blood, even pet accident stains on carpets. Really is amazing what it removes. Now, as you can see, the stain is getting all loosened up. In fact, it's almost gone already. I think it's time to give it a rinse in some cold water. All we do is agitate the item whoops, in the cold water like this. I usually like to play it safe and use cold water. Stains, especially non-greasy stains, can often be set by using hot water, and you don't want that, do we? Okay, let's have a look at our stain now. There you go. Oh, what stain? It's completely gone. And that was chocolate sauce combined with spaghetti sauce combined with mustard. And we removed it from what could have been a $100 shirt or blouse with something that was sitting a few yards away in our garage.